Galactica. Let's welcome Edward James Allman. Thank you. Thank you so much. How's everybody doing? Good? Yeah. Great to be back in Kansas. I can go get my barbecue. <laughs> going to Jake's. Come on, Brian, Union Station. Give me a break. Today. So listen, this is the game rule today. It's just us. No one's going to be asking me questions from here. They waste too much time. I'd rather talk with you guys. <laughs> so anybody that has any questions, please work your way uh, over to the microphone and start your way over there. Meanwhile, I'll stand up here and look beautiful. <laughs> I'm 70, but I know I look good, okay? <laughs> but I am 70, I'm old. Really not, no, that's a new 40. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, number one, up to bat right now, the man who can do it. There you are, what's your name? Joel, what, what do you feel like you learned from the character of Amidon? Oh, boy, what did I learn? I learned so much from this show, I can't even tell you guys. I don't think there's a show that I've done that has used television better. And I've done some really good shows. <clears throat> well, where do we start? We can start with uh, Miami Vice, which was a huge, huge show in the 80s. You know? Uh, NYPD Blue Hill Street. Um, you know, uh, The West Wing, which is a brilliant show. Brilliant. And, and they have great writing did all the shows that I just mentioned, but nothing put it into perspective the usage of television and what the show did. Now, how many of us have not seen, again, have not seen Battlestar Galactica? Raise your hand, please be honest. Okay, there's three of us. <laughs> no, there's, there's at least about 10 of us. Here. 10 of us. And uh, three of them are under the age of 12, so <laughs> I'm glad you didn't see it. <laughs> Not yet. Wait till you're 15, because it gets pretty intense. <laughs> now, you know why? It, it, uh, it came upon me just recently. It came upon me that if there was a nuclear holocaust, and only a section of the planet was left alive, those that saw this program would live. <laughs> I'm being as honest as I can be. Why? Because you've already gone through the experience of what it feels like to lose every single person and thing that you love. And you still continue to move forward. And it was so hard. You gotta remember, the original was phenomenal. The reimagining of it that uh, Ron Moore did was monumental. It became something that, to this day, is, is you know, along with Blade Runner, it, it's right there. Matter of fact, for all of you that really wanted to understand the show, that got to the end of the show, the next time you, you go through it, you reboot it, you go through again, when you get to the end, this is a spoiler, so all you 12 people that didn't see the show, <laughs> you're going to get a real big spoiler, but it's your life. I don't know why, how you're doing here anyway. <laughs> She put it, if you did not see the show, do not come in. <laughs> but at the end, whenever you get done watching this show, and you see the very last section, you know what happens. Ed Baltar and Head Six are walking down uh, <laughs> Times Square, and Head Six says to Baltar, this has happened before, it's going to happen again. And Baltar says, I don't think so. I think humanity has learned its lesson. And then all you do is you see them walk away, the year is 2008, when it goes to black, just to get Blade Runner. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> and it's 2019, and their direct descendant, <laughs> Adama, is there. <laughs> yeah. A little bit younger. Go ahead. <laughs> 